Thank you, Nate. Now, in a health alert, in honor of Men's Health Month, we have some checklists for men to look out for during their health screenings. The goal is to increase awareness of preventable health problems, encourage early detection and treatment. ABC 4's Keila Baggerly has the story. The doctor I spoke with says men are less likely to go and get their health checked, but that this shouldn't be the case. He says it's important that they know what to look out for, so if there are any issues, they can catch them early on, and that they know what steps to take to live their lives as healthy as possible. Half of the men that responded to a survey by Cleveland Clinic said they did not get regular checkups, and among the 20% that admitted to not being completely honest with their doctor in past appointments, some reasons were embarrassment, not wanting to be told to make a change with their lifestyle, and not wanting to face a troubling diagnosis. Dr. Alexander Pazdashak with the University of Utah says another part of that can be trying to find balance with other needs like finances. Working to balance what one sort of has to do you know, to make sure that they're taking care of themselves as well as their family from an economic standpoint, but also balancing that with their health, nutrition, and lifestyle is really important for longevity. He says some issues that could affect men significantly are heart disease and diabetes, but these can be prevented with the right steps, such as eating a healthy diet, exercising, and getting enough sleep. Diabetes and heart disease, both avoidable as a function in part of lifestyle and nutrition, also treatable in the setting of the healthcare system. Dr. Pastashak also says that colon cancer and prostate cancer are among the top five cancers that kill men, which is why it's necessary they get their regular screenings. Another concern is men's mental health. According to Mental Health America, over six million men suffer from depression each year in the U.S., and male depression often goes undiagnosed. Having your network of support, having your friends, your family, and the people that you can trust trust to talk to about problems in your life helps keep them from getting worse. He says men need to know it's okay to take time to focus on their health and get help where they need it. It's not just about going to the doctor and getting medication to take care of a problem. It's also more and more about having the right approach to the way you live to prevent those problems. Men, if you have any concerns about your health, Dr. Pastashak says you should go and see a doctor. He recommends that you have a general practitioner that you see regularly who can also help point you to a specialist if needed. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.